SAT scores in Connecticut, more unfulfilled potential by our state government. This is the Daily Fire for July 18th. I'm Mark Stewart. We have imposed on all of our students, this is three years now, the requirement of doing the SAT statewide, whether you're bound for a competitive college or not, whether you are not even going to a community college, you want to go off to a welding school or just go right into work. No, every student's supposed to be tested. Okay, you know taxpayers are paying for this. Well, Wenzel's office doesn't do anything with changing based on these scores. And maybe more importantly, the most opportunistic students could be taking advantage by having better prep. Has the state of Connecticut dramatically changed the prep that it is asking students to do? So far, no. And it has such a good opportunity. There are oodles of firms that will prep students really well so that our kids get scorchingly better scores. My firm does this. Our students raise their scores over 100 points easily. Our average is close to 160. That makes a huge difference in students getting into colleges and getting money from many colleges in terms of merit-based scholarships. But you haven't heard promotion of students to do the SAT well. They just show up one day and get tested. We also don't know whether districts are dramatically changing their curriculum for certain students who might be deficient in different areas. They have the data now, but they're not using it. All we've got is a publication of town by town by town, what the average test scores town by town are. That's not good enough. If you're going to impose something statewide, make the most out of it. I'm not a big fan of statewide impositions. But if I'm governor and the state is committed to doing this thanks to the General Assembly, by golly, our kids are going to excel better than any other 49 state kids. I'm Mark Stewart. In every student's corner, thank you for being in mind.